Mexico has exploded in outrage over the 43 students who went missing at the end of September in the town of Iguala. Now, according to authorities, local police in the state of Guerrero arrested the students and handed them over to a drug cartel who killed them, incinerated their bodies, and dumped them by a river. The students were from a rural teacher's college called Ayotzinapa, the word on everyone's lips, in the streets and on social media. Latest revelations about Ayotzinapa, I want to cry. A government that kills its students is a government that kills its country. Hashtags include Somos Todos Ayotzinapa, We Are All Ayotzinapa, and EPN Bring Them Back, a call on President Peña Nieto to take action, and demands for him to step down with Renuncia EPN. Nieto has addressed the incident, but new revelations didn't interrupt his trip to China. Manolo Serrano says, let him go to China. If you come back Enrique Peña Nieto, Mexico won't be the same submissive country that you left. The students were traveling through the state of Guerrero when police opened fire on their buses, killing three of them, three bystanders, and arresting those who didn't manage to escape. 72 people have been arrested in connection to the killings, including the mayor of Iguala and his wife, who actually tried to flee. No wonder, because according to Mexico's attorney general, the mayor himself ordered the attack to try and prevent students from potentially interrupting an event that his wife was hosting. Disgusting thugs who followed orders from disgusting rulers. Then, after revealing the gruesome details of the murders, Attorney General Murillo stopped the press conference he was giving with the phrase, Ya me cansé, I'm tired, or I've had enough. Shouldn't have said that. Ya me cansé is now a rallying cry for the movement demanding justice for the students. I've had enough of the war on drugs. I've had enough of them taking us for fools. One wall in Mexico City reads, I've had enough of the fear. MX Apple tweets, Yame Kansé is not just for Ayotinapa, it's for the whole nation, exhausted and fed up with demagoguery, impunity, and the arrogance of the Mexican government. There have also been solidarity protests and gestures from around the world, and the UN and Human Rights Watch have both condemned the killings. In a country where well over 60,000 lives were lost to drug violence in just six years and 20,000 have disappeared, it's not only Mexicans, but the whole world that is watching and wondering when it will all end. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.